This video is a quick walkthrough of using IBM Watson Studio on the IBM Cloud to train a machine learning model using a Jupyter Notebook. So let's get into it. The first thing I'll do is go to the IBM Cloud. What I'm interested in getting into is Watson Studio. So I go down in the menu and choose Watson. And then I'll scroll down and enter my Watson Studio instance. And Watson is project orientated, so I'll create a new project. That will be an empty project. I'm just giving you the SpaceX data that I have to predict uh, successful launches that I've used in other videos. So let's choose that. I don't need any restrictions. One nice thing about Watson Studio is it'll, it'll create a storage bucket for us to upload data into along with the project as we create it. So we don't have to do that separately, which is pretty nice. So we'll create that new project. And this project will encapsulate both the data and the other assets that are involved in doing the training. So currently it's empty, obviously. Let me go into assets. And what I want to do is create a new Jupyter Notebook. So I'll scroll down and find code editors, Jupyter Notebook. And here it wants a name. So this will be train machine learning. And as I create the notebook, it asks me what, uh, what VM I want to create for the kernel to, to do my experimentation on. So this is fine. There's a lot of choices. Um, the default one is fine, and Python 3.1 is fine. So let me click Create. And then as the notebook's being created, it's also creating that virtual machine to run the kernel in. So I'll give that just a minute to finish up. Okay, the runtime's running, the kernel's ready. This all looks pretty good. So first I'm gonna upload my data. So if I go to the top right, they have a nice, a nice way to upload data into the bucket that they created. So I'm just gonna grab my CSV file and drag it in here. And it's uploaded my CSV file. It's a pretty small file, so it uploads pretty fast. Next, I have a number of dependencies I'm gonna use as I create this model. So I'm going to load those first. And then second, I'm going to actually load that data into a pandas data frame. So if I click on this code snippets button, they actually have this preloaded um, way to, to, to write the code for you to pull in that data asset. So I'll click data asset. That's the file that I uploaded. I have to select at the bottom and it wants to know how do I want to load that? Oh, well, I want a pandas data frame. And this is great. Let's insert that code to sell. So it inserts the code, which looks actually pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm going to change is, is uh, to change the data frame name from DF data one to just data frame DF. That's fine. So this will pull the data in from the cloud bucket, load it into the frame for me, and then display what that looks like. So I'll just run that and that looks correct. So I'm going to create a success column by mapping the categories that are in the original data. So that'll give me ones and zeros. So the success column down here. And next I'm going to extract that success column as my target and drop those categories that I don't need and then create some ones and zeros with uh, get dummies to be a little bit easier for the machine learning model to use. Then we'll use a scalar to normalize those columns. That looks good. We use logistic regression to train the model and use a grid search. The training's done, so let's take a look at the performance and see how it did. And look at a classification report. Again, looks pretty good. And finally, let's print out a confusion matrix just to see how that looks like. Okay, that's it. So that's using the Watson Studio environment to do some basic model training. Um, what I like about it, it's very well integrated in terms of the data storage and the, the kernel VMs. Um, pretty easy to get started, obviously, and uh, and then they support many other features and deployments uh, going forward for, for production. So hope you found that uh, interesting, or at least you learned something from it. I'll see you next time.